welcome back to my hunting channel 2021. I want to bring you up to speed on the Game Winner plastic feeder. Now, it's only been a year since we've used these feeders. But let me tell you what, because I got the varmint cage on the bottom, worked pretty good. But them little son of a guns can bite and chew. This is only one of our areas. As you can see, she's still got good vegetation. She's still doing pretty good. But let me show you the feeder. I want you to take a peek at what the animals can do to a plastic feeder all the way around. Now this feeder is not too bad. So I was gonna put corn in here today. It ain't gonna happen. As you can see, they had a field day on this feeder and it's only been a week since I put, a uh, week and a half since I put corn in it. Last time there was no holes. So I'm gonna take you down to my hunting area in which they destroyed a fence around my apple tree. They, uh, they literally tore up everything down on my ground. I have to replant now. I'm very happy with the food plot. Uh, I can't stress enough, but once again, look at the holes. I mean, this is not, they got some sharp teeth, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go down to my area and I'll show you mine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go down to my area and I wanna show you what they did to my vegetation around me. Them deer are eating me out of house and home. Eh, food plot stuff and preparing the hunt, it can get a little pricey. Trying to put plot, food plots and the corn and I didn't expect them to eat it, but I am gonna show you a picture here shortly this right here or wherever they want to post it i'll post it to my side right here okay that's going to be my next feeder from game winner all metal varmint proof etc because i cannot want to go through plastic this is only a year old i'm telling you not even a year and they done tore my stuff up so hold that thought let's turn the camera around and video my right. area as we walk down to the stand you can see it's cleared there was food up in this area i don't see any more turkey got to that last season i think or springtime i know i've seen a lot of turkey up here but i'm going to tell you what just look at the vegetation area a couple weeks ago three weeks ago this stuff was thick i mean it was thick i had it real high probably about a foot up off the ground and as you can see they done tore me up and there's my apple tree they knocked down my fence for my tree and the tree was going pretty good but there's turnips in there and i guess they wanted the turnips so anyway this is my hunting area i had vegetation that they could eat around me and as you can see all the way around me has been pretty much eaten as much as they can i got a new block out today though them i don't mind they can chew that up but right there they tore up my fence on my apple tree but my feeder did not fare as bad. The corn on the ground just fell through and I was like, why is it going through when I dump it in there? So, yeah, you can see the corn. Yeah, you can see the corn here too. Let's walk around the other side, see how bad they got that. Well, not too bad, I guess, huh? Just those two big ass holes. Oops, excuse me, sorry. Shouldn't say that. And like I said, all my vegetation is gone. So, so like I said, we're gonna invest and the new feeders, the steel ones, and uh, see where we go from there. You can see that big old hole on mine, and uh, stay tuned to my channel. It's getting interesting now. Now, like I said, I got my new 10-point Siege RS-410. Looking forward to shooting it, and I'm going to shoot some of these critters down here. I don't know when raccoon season is. I might come out here at night and try to get some of them bad boys or trap them. I don't know yet, but I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, don't invest into a $70 feeder. If you want it to last, you better get something made out of metal, I'm getting the ones a little shorter. I'm going to show you a description. I'm going to put it down in my links from Amazon or from uh, Academy Sports. It's made out of steel. I don't have to have a ladder. That's what I want. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying tuned to me. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe. Thumbs down if you don't. Make a comment. See what's going on. All right? But we got to dig up these little turnips and throw them out of my area because the deer are going to keep getting it. All right? Thank you, and have a good week.